last year because of the drought. Charmaine Pearsall has been with Lehman Age Feeders for over five years. She says this year's prices on feed are higher than she's ever seen. For instance, I have a bag of feed that I'm selling for $26. Someone else is selling for $32.99. She says the store is trying to offset some of those additional costs right now by canceling out third parties. Because that's going to add more price to the bag. I don't want to do that because it's got to be affordable this year. Affordable, specifically for students taking part in agriculture organizations. And the USDA has estimated that since the beginning of the year, we've seen a 2% loss uh, in the overall size of our cattle population. Nathan Atkinson is vice president for the state FFA. He's aware of the drought impact across the board. So we're seeing it on the large scales and like you said, trickling down to our livestock show participants. Uh, price of feeds rate is going up. But he says he believes facing the uncontrollable challenge now will help prepare those in the organization for their future. You're expecting things to go up and down and things are never consistent. Um, and so learning how to deal with that at an early age and to make that budget, to stick to that budget, uh, to raise that project as best you can and make as much money on it to fund next year's project. If we can start building that at a young age. But still, for those who may have trouble with funding this year, he says to remember that there are other ways to get involved without raising an animal. Start getting involved in other SAEs like places which can uh, let you get a job and use that as your SAE. There's different ways to get involved. Mariah Gallegos, 3 News. Thank you, Mariah.